Greetings everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's day 11, so it's that in one, right? Day 11 of the 31 days to become bullyproof. And it just so happens to be my 50th birthday. Holy smokes, July 11th, my 50th birthday, and I'm here with you. Yeah, <laughs> what better place to be, right? So what am I gonna talk about today? Well, if you haven't listened to the previous 10 days, the 10 days of 31 days to become bullyproof, man, make sure you listen in. Now today, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna share something right from the heart here. I'm 50, I can't, I can't believe it. Now I know that's not old, it's just a number. Some days I feel 50, but most of the days I feel pretty good because I'm doing my very best to honor the black belt principles and not to bully myself by not taking care of myself and not disrespecting myself by being disciplined, by being impeccable with my words, saying I'm gonna do what I'm gonna uh, do when I said I was gonna do it. And those things are tough, but I wanna defeat that bully within. Well, today I'm gonna talk about something I was sharing with my son the other day. I said, buddy, I'm gonna be 50 soon. And he just turned 20 in May. And I said, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that it was 30 years ago that I was 20. Now, there's a lot of the thoughts up here. I still feel like I'm 20. I realize I'm not, but I sure as heck cannot believe that it's been 30 years since I was 20 years old. That is insane to me. And why do I bring this up? Because I'm thinking about what have I done over the past 30 years? Now, I could bully myself severely and talk about all the things that I haven't done. I could talk about all the regrets I have, not spending more time with my family, not spending more time with my kids. And, and th those are things that I do very regret those. I should have done a better job. Now I've built a pretty good sized business and I'm building another now with Grogan's Bullyproof. And of course my whole goal, the reason I was put on this planet, I realize it now, is to empower people with hope, to believe in themselves, to overcome their challenges, battle through their fears, to stand up to any bully they're facing, either real or in their mind. Same, same battles that I have every day. But back to the, the topic here today, it's to not live in regret. You can't, I can't do anything about the past. You can't do anything about the past. If you have made a mistake, if you screwed up, if you wish you would have done this, or you wish you would not have done that, I've got a lot of those regrets. Matter of fact, I flushed a lot of those regrets away in 2017 by, becoming, by getting baptized, and becoming a born again Christian. One of the best things I've ever done for myself. Now, if, uh, if you have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, boy oh boy, that's a good thing to start. Now, it doesn't mean I still don't fight the bullies within. Like I said, there's always two battles, the evil and good going on in my mind here. Those are those bullies within that, you know, are doing the worst damage. You know, there's no bully out there in the real world could do as much damage as I and many others do in their own mind, right? Beating yourself up. But what I want to talk about today on my 50th birthday is I want you to look back. If you've got kids, look at their age and think about how long ago you were their age. And think about what you were going through at that age. Oftentimes you get caught up in the hustle and bustle and forget, man, my kid's pretty darn awesome for being 20 years old. I'm saying that. Daughter's awesome for being 17. My youngest son's awesome for being 11. But I often forget to remember when I was their age and the goofy things that I did, how I messed up. But I also sometimes forget just to talk to them. I don't always have to be Master Grogan. I don't always have to be, you know, uh, um, the authority figure. I can just be dad and hang out with them. A little different message here on my 50th birthday but I wanted to share that with you. Now, what I, on the other side, is like, well, in 30 years, I spent my life <laughs> teaching, coaching, educating, teaching martial arts, being a personal trainer, being aerobic instructor, being a PE teacher for 11 years, coaching baseball, football, and hockey. Yeah, teaching women's self-protection workshops and giving, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of speeches now with the, the Grogan's Bullyproof brand and Kicking Life. I've got a book coming out. So yeah, I'm not bragging, I'm saying I've done a, a handful of things there, which are good, but I wanna make sure that the next five, 10, 20, 30 years are better than the previous 30 years. But what I really wanna do, so I don't live with regret 30 years from now, I wanna make sure that I spend more quality time with my family. I'm sharing that with you, I'll get all choked up here and emotional, but I'm sharing that with you because if you're not taking the time to share with your family, you know, they're gonna grow up. And you want them to remember the good days with you. If you haven't had those good days in the past, 
it's never too late to change. Don't bully yourself by living in the past. Learn from it so you don't live with regret as you get older. There you go. All right. There's day 11 on 7-11, July 11th, my birthday. I'm sharing it with you folks. Please, please do your very, very best. Defeat that bully within so you can live your best kick in life. I love you. God loves you. Please share that love with the world. And until we talk again, you get out there and do your best. And I promise you'll be your very best. You'll become bullyproof and you'll live your best kick in life. Tune in tomorrow, folks. Day 12 of 31 Days to Become Bullyproof. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.